guys today hey guys today I'm going to be showing you how to make a key holder for your door so my door well my handle on my door can't unlock like it won't twist it will just keep twisting and twisting and twisting it never is like hooked on um I don't know like how it's supposed to do that but it just broke and it's like oh my god so whenever I shut it I can't open it because it keeps twisting so I use this and I push my door back and I put this in and I push the little you know that little thing on the side and then twist the handle and pull so it's a bit complicated but I need this key for my door and also maybe some of you need a key for your door if you want to lock it on someone or whatever and you're inside and you're like mad at someone or you just have the kind of door with the handle like that so you need any kind of key you want you're going to need uh, like a trace something a marker or something to trace with like a pencil or something some clear tape, scotch tape, anything like that. Some pair, a pair of scissors, some markers, some stickers, any kind of stickers, and some colored paper. So oh, let's get started. So I already got my colored paper and cut out the shapes. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna get two colors. You're gonna have one square bigger than the other square, okay? So I'm gonna flip these over so they're more likely to fit. So I have it like this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be grabbing my tape. I don't need that big, but you're gonna just put it on, oops. Just put it in the middle like this. Then you want to tape this to here. Just make sure you don't tape the top, okay? You can tape the, you're gonna have to tape the bottom really good. So then you just wanna tape here, like that, and make sure you can actually open that. And then you just wanna tape the bottom, like so. So there you go, you got your little pocket and you can put your key in it. We're not done yet. So now what you wanna do is, you're gonna wanna cut off these edges. But if you don't want to, you can do this. So you don't have to see the tape. What you can do is fold this like this. So all you're doing is folding the sides, but don't fold the top one. You're gonna have to cut that one off. So fold that one, fold this one. You don't have to do this. I'm just checking to what it looks like to show you. And then you can fold this one and you can tape it, but it won't look as good. So I'm just gonna cut it off. So you, you can fold it up so you know how much you can cut off. Because you don't want to cut off all of it. So I folded it to make sure I have enough to cut off. Don't cut off the top though. This, you can use this for anything really, like any pencils or anything. Paper clips you need on, when you get in your uh, room. So this is what it looks like. Now what you can do is you can make another one of these and keep the top up here so you can start sticking them beside each other or like like whatever you want. So now what you can do is fit your key perfectly inside and it'll stay safe and tidy. But we are not done yet. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab your markers like that. Oops, that came out. And I'm going to be drawing a heart on mine. Well, actually, I want to draw a key. Oh, I knew it out there. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to draw it with this first. So I just want to draw a quick shape of this key and color it in. It's pretty cool, though. You can do any design you want on the front. It doesn't have to be a key. It could be, like, a heart or anything you really want. I just want to do a key because that's, like, the one I really want. I know this pen is, like... Not working. So you just want to follow the arrow things, like whatever is happening with the key. And then just go all the way around. There you go. I got my key. So now what you want to do is I'm going to be coloring in this little tiny spot. So it looks more like a key. So I'm going to color in this spot. Like that. Even though it doesn't go like that, but... So now you just want to design it however you want. 
So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make a rainbow. So I'm gonna do, first I'm gonna do pink, purple, no, pink, green, purple, orange, blue, yellow, black, and then another pink. So, here we go. So I'm gonna go this way with this thing. It's not gonna look that good because these markers aren't that good. You just want to like make any design you want. Take your time on it. You don't have to if you're like rushing and you just want to remember where your key is. Just rush. But see, it's not going to be perfect. Mine is already terrible, as you see. But you know. <laughs> And once I come to the last color, I'm going to color the rest in with that exact color. So now I got this, and I'm just going to color it all in with this. And you can, like, draw anything you want on here. Just color up here. Just random. I don't really, it doesn't really matter. So then what I want to draw now is I want to put the initials for my name up there or anything and if you don't have these you can just easily get them at the dollar store they're like they're a dollar 25 you can see the label right there but you're also going to need the scissors to cut these off too oh, geez, there goes my phone. sorry i don't have a good holder for this sorry about that so yeah so there's your like little holder and then i just want to put my initials and then i'm going to be done and then yeah So, now each, and I want a different color for my other one. Well, I can't really, there's, oh, there's one. There we go. So here is my key holder, and then I can just put my key in here. Oh, that fell out. Just put my key in here, and place it on my door. So, thanks for watching. Bye.